Hey guys, so I really thought about the MetaZoo, Disney Olokana, One Piece situation, even Weiss is way down in terms of value. It is a recession. I was watching another YouTube channel and they were saying that we were actually currently in a recession and they had data to support that. And that would make sense. Uh, a lot of these card games are getting really, really cheap. Uh, Weiss is one of them. Uh, we opened and bought a ton of spot. If you won't care about Jap don't care about Japanese or English, the Japanese economy is not doing really well. The yen to dollar is incredibly favorable to the dollar. So you can buy a lot of these really nice cards straight from Japan that would cost you an arm and a leg for something more reasonable. The people hyping the game, they're all gone. I mean, this is a dude who is saying that in... F I wouldn't be surprised if 5, 10 years, it blows away magic. What game do you think he's talking about? Yu-Gi-Oh! No, he's talking about MetaZoo, the game that's in bankruptcy right now. Like, this whole idea of hypes and FOMOs and HODLs and stuff, like, in card... It just doesn't work. As someone who has put a lot of money in card games... MetaZoo's been rocking and rolling. This is like a recent episode, guys. This isn't like him saying this in 2021. This is a recent episode on Netflix that he must have filmed probably six months ago. And I think about these dead card games and these investments and... No, they're not dead card. I mean, I guess MetaZoo is technically dead for the time being. But like Disney or Locana, how many people want to put money behind that? One Piece. How many people put money behind that? You know, I, I see, if you can watch the vlogs, you can see people going to conventions and they were paying $500, $400 for a box of Romance Dawn that now goes for $200, $250. And the S&P 500 is on a tear. It, it goes up every, like every time I refresh the little button, it goes up in price again. The uh, NVIDIA has done really well. Bitcoin has done incredibly well. You know, I'm not always right. I was wrong about Bitcoin. I didn't love it. It, it did really well. I admit that it did much better than I could expect. And you look at this. Oh, hey, man, this is a printer sheet that we got from our company that we're not paying them from China. So how many... So imagine you're the printer company in China. You look at this documentary on Netflix. Someone sends you a link on YouTube or whatever. And you say to yourself, you know what? We have a lot of those. We have a lot of those uncut sheets. In fact, it is cheaper for us to make an uncut sheet because we don't have to physically cut it right then to cut the sheet why don't we just sell a bunch of uncut sheets to america to these meta zoo fans that's what i would do i would say okay so they owe me money i got a psd of every single card including hello kitty and i assume all the promos including alpha investments promos and i would just say run the printer in reality, this has been in, you know, in a recession, the sharks eat. As long as you have a good source of income, you're going to be able to buy these stuff really cheap. There's going to be incredible deals, and that's what I'm seeing. But the problem, here's the problem. If you put money in S&P 500 in 2021 when MetaZoo and these uh, other IPs were coming out, you now have a shit ton of money. You put it in NVIDIA, you have a shit ton of money. You put it in Pokemon, oh, God. 2021, think about it. Moonbrion was it wasn't even like four hundred dollars. None of the alts were any money. Like you buy Pokemon, it, it's so strange to me that the MetaZoo people who are buying MetaZoo are buying so because they want to be, you know, basically MetaZoo's Pokemon. Even this guy is talking about Pokemon, right? In context of MetaZoo, why don't you guys just buy Pokemon? It never crossed their mind that they could honestly just buy Pokemon and the Pokemon cards would go up. And then Magic, Magic is crushing it. You know, give Magic all the... I didn't. I also was wrong about Universe Beyond. I thought it was kind of a silly idea. And I didn't love it. Uh, but it turned out to be something where it really was what Magic the Gathering needed in terms of getting new players, collectors. Penguin Z. Penguin Z is here to stay. Um, absolutely amazing. No, 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 not Penguin Z. Uh, Charlie, Charlie, crit uh, Moist Critical was here to stay. No, I think that is Penguin Z, is it? No. Yeah, it is Penguin Z. <laughs> Same guy. I, I confuse him with Asmund Gold a lot. 
when you are buying stuff that you like, other people will like it too. I've never made a bad buy in terms of like how I felt about stuff. Like in Yasha, I've never made a bad buy. Sometimes I will overpay, but in my mind, it's like, okay, I won't see it for a while again on eBay. It's a good time to buy. If you have money, things are things are hitting the marketplace that normally don't hit the marketplace. And that's really, really good if you have money. But if you put all your money in a MetaZoo, that's the dichotomy. That That's really, really the strange dichotomy. Um, that is the strange dichotomy behind card games. It's really feast or famine. You put money behind a, a card game. And that card game... Oh, also, good news. I bought a bunch of Inuyasha and Brewster packs to open for my birthday. So, I don't know if I want to film that. I probably will. It'll be a boring video for most of you. Yeah, we are having a really fun time just buying shit online. And I'm actually looking... Whenever I make these videos, people are like, Oh, you don't have time. You don't, you're, you're, you're not successful because you don't have time. I'm just like looking at eBay auctions while I make the video. So, that's why the click, 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 click. Is because I'm trying to buy stuff on eBay, so it's kind of a, you know, I have to be here anyway. Why not just uh, talk about? So it doesn't take like the idea that it takes so long for me to make my videos is comical. I don't edit them, and I'm doing other stuff while making them. I just have the microphone, right? And sometimes the, you know, I can't. I'm not. I'm thinking about bidding on something, so I'm not using all my brain power making the video, and the video comes out nonsensical. But these Meadow Zoo people, man, they invested. They could have invested in anything. Like, real estate is up. I, I, I really, truly do not know what they could have invested worse than Meadow Zoo. And same with, like, Disney Ocon and One Piece. Why would you do this to yourself? Because now is the time you buy. You don't buy when the mother effing box is $820, guys. You buy when the box is $40 if you really believe in it. Because you can get 20 times the boxes. I mean, am I crazier? Like, why would you rather have one box or 20 boxes for the same price if you thought that the item could go to the moon? And, and what really changed, right? What what has changed in your perspective? Not much. Like, I'm still buying Fire Emblem, Cypher. I'm actually Google, I'm eBaying it right now. There's two auctions left for Fire Emblem, Cypher. <laughs> Holy shit, it's hard to buy these cards, man. It is hard to buy. Oh, there's a cute. Uh, there's a okay. That's not real. That's not a real card. But anyway, my my point is kind of simple here. You know, if it brings you joy, if you love it, go ahead buy it. It's not going to hurt you. You're gonna. Weiss is pretty interesting. The bids are just. Some of them are very nonsensical. Oh, I like this one. What is this one? You get two of them, or you get one. Oh, it's a fairy tale deck. Interesting. I do love fairy tale. Anyway, um, guys.